بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Now the next thing we'll try to see one more scenario with a pad pad with an exit interface now now basically pad a port address translation is like in the previous example we have seen i'm going to translate this private network 192.168.1.1 network it should get translated to a public ip whatever the public ip you want you can decide and this is the one public ip what i'm using for for translating this normally now either you can use this public ip or the alternate option is generally i can also use this exit interface now basically this exit interface ip this will be given by the service border so mostly when you're connecting to this uh, service border this will be your public ip network okay so because you're connecting to this one and let's say if you're getting this public ip whether it is a static or dynamic again it depends because uh, if you are opting for static IP, you get static IP or dynamic IP depends. Which means every time I, I boot, I may get an IP from the from the DHCP server normally. That is one uh, possibility where the service provider will maintain a DHCP server and he will assign the IP from the DHCP or it can be a static IP. Static IP will configure manually. So in my case, uh, I'm using a static IP. Of course, DHCP options, when you get into the DHCP section, will be uh, will be seeing more on dhcp uh, you you probably see there some of the dhcp concepts how we can use the router as a dhcp server or the other options so here i'm just going with the static ip here and i want to translate with this public ip so i don't want to use a separate ip i just want to use this ip to for translations so to do that the configuration is the same just like we did discuss there are three line configurations but here there will be only two lines now in that the first line is we need to define what is your private ip range the same thing acl 55 then my private ip 192.168.1. subnet the wildcard mask okay so we need to define the private ip range just like we did for the previous dynamic net configurations same thing now normally the second step we need to define the public ip pool so that is not required here because we, we are not using any pool IP here. So basically the second step will, uh, there is no need to define the pool. Now directly we can go with translation. So in that translation, I'm saying that IP NAT inside source list. So whatever the private IP is defined in the ACL 55. So whatever the IP range, which are defined in this ACL 55, that should get translated to the interface as zero by zero. So whatever the name of the interface as zero by zero by zero here in my example or it can be any other interface in your production scenarios which is connecting to the service portal so which means i'm saying uh, interface as zero by zero means whatever the ip present on that particular interface it should translate this one which means in my example it will be translating to 300 111 and overload it overload means we are saying do the pad port address translation we want to do of course the implementation remains the same we need to go to interface g0 by 0 the private network from where you get that is your inside interface and normally the interface connecting to the service border will be your outside interface for translation okay so this is uh, one common uh, scenario you will see in the production uh, probably you may see, you know, you just translate with the public IP given by the service border on the outside interface also. So in this case, you don't need to have a separate IP, you know, separate IP to use for your translations. So let's go and verify this, the verify the port address translation. Now to verify, we need to verify the previous configurations. Like in the previous lab, we have configured the private IP, a uh, public IP pool, and this pool is not required. Of course, you can uh, remove this or not, but I'll, I want to configure, reconfigure everything from the starting. So I'll remove this. Okay, so it is in use. So whenever you see this statement means, you can see show IP in a translation, these entries. So make sure that you remove these things. Okay, so we need to say uh, clear IP in our translations. 
and then I'll try to go to the configuration mode and I'll try to remove this. Okay, now I can, anyway, public pool is not compulsory to remove because anyway, I'm not using that here. Just will remove the configurations here. And I don't need to remove the ACL. ACL, I can still use the same. I think the ACL has been removed or not. Let me see. So ACL, still I can use the same ACL here. So I don't need to remove this ACL, okay? So the first step is, what is the first step? We need to create an ACL. So already we have an ACL, so which matches your one dot network. Okay, so we do have an ACL, the first step. And the second step is, I'll simply say IP NAT inside source a list. So if I'm using static, then I say static. If I'm using dynamic, I use list. And what is the list name? List name is the private IP. There is a name pr underscore ip and then this time i don't want to translate with the pool this time i'm going to translate with the interface so specify the interface using the global address so in my example the interface will be cdl 0 by 0 by 0 of course you can type in simply s 0 by 0 by 0 shortcut and then i want to do overload okay so two-step configuration First one is ACL and the second step is translate with this address. And then of course we need to say inside, this is already done, so I don't need to do it again. So I'm just showing you here. So this is the next configuration, the implementation part remains the same. Now verification part also remains the same. Now we'll try to initiate some traffic from the specific host, host computers. We'll generate some HTTP request and then we'll generate some ping request and then we'll go and verify the translation table show ip net translations here you can see the same result now the only difference is instead of using 5111 they all are getting translated to one single public ip the public ip used on s0 by 0 by 0 interface whatever the ip and if you see the private IPs, they are different, like 1.2, 1.1, 1.3, 1.4. These are the four hosts I'm using here. And these are being translated as they receive. And of course, the destination address rem remains the same. These are your destination addresses. And this is your source inside. Inside means ours. Inside uh, local and inside global address range. 